Be it known unto all that I, Donald Moore O'Brien, King of Thomond, have founded an abbey in honour of the holy apostles Peter and Paul at Kimony, and in the same abbey have set up canons regular of St. Augustine. With these words, King Donald Moore O'Brien established Clare Abbey in 1189 AD. It became the most important abbey in Thomond. The canons of St. Augustine lived an austere life in the abbey while serving the religious needs of the community for more than 350 years. The Augustinian canons were driven from Clare Abbey during the Reformation by King Henry VIII in 1543 and the monastic properties were given to the Protestant Earls of Thomond. The old abbey was in ruins by 1681 and it has been a national monument since 1893. Kilone Abbey was also founded by Donald Moore O'Brien, King of Thomond, around 1189. It was set up as a convent for women who lived in a community according to the rules of St. Augustine. The nuns lived an austere life of prayer, fasting and doing charitable works. One report, written after its dissolution, noted, some relief was had there for the poor, feeding and clothing the needy, hungry and naked. Kilone Abbey was suppressed during the Reformation in 1543. The nuns were dispersed and the property was granted to the Protestant Earls of Inchiquin. The venerable old abbey was in ruins by 1617. It has been a national monument since 1893. St John's Well, beside Kilone Lake, has been an important centre of Catholic devotion since early Christian times. It was dedicated to St John the Baptist whose feast day is on the 24th of June. People had great faith in holy wells for curing sickness and disease, and they went on pilgrimage each year to this holy site on St. John's Eve. People traveled from far and near to do the rounds at St. John's. An old map shows a path called the Pilgrim's Way to the Holy Well. During penal times, an altar was erected here by Anthony Roach, an Ennis merchant in 1731. The annual pilgrimage to St. John's nowadays takes place on the 29th of June, where Mass is celebrated on the feast of Saints Peter and Paul, patron saints of the parish. <laughs>